Well, for a History Day project, I'd be looking for something that I was personally interested in. Uh, that's a good start. Um, there's things that everyone's going to do. Um, that's an okay place, but you may want to go where your interests take you. Uh, maybe someone took a stand in history and they turned out to be completely wrong. Um, that's one possible way to go. Uh, but, you know, in Colorado, for instance, I'd take a stand, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd look at uh, Governor Ralph Carr's stand regarding the, um, uh, the concentration camps, as they were called at the time, uh, for uh, Japanese Americans and Japanese citizens. Um, it was a very popular thing in the western part of the U.S. to lock up uh, not only foreign nationals, which happens in every war, but in the case of Japanese Americans, American citizens, because they were a different race. Um, now, they weren't locked up in Hawaii, which the Japanese uh, Imperial Navy attacked, uh, who do the work. But um, they were scattered all over the western U.S. and even down into Arkansas. And uh, one of the camps was here. Uh, one of the American Legion posts offered to go and shoot the people through the wire. Um, Ralph Carr instead came out as governor and said, this is wrong, these are American citizens, they're being treated badly, we need to do everything we can to make them welcome. Um, that was not overwhelmingly popular. Uh, it's easy to raise um, popular passions and hatreds. And it cost Ralph Carr uh, the next election. But he took a stand. So um, that's the kind of story where you can say what was the issue, what was the prevailing opinion, what did the person do, did it make a difference, um, does it matter today? So um, that can lead you in a lot of different directions. Of course, then you have to figure if it's for a History Day project, how do you present what you found out? This is a problem any historian has. You investigate something, find out, make sense of the sources, figure out which are the most credible, and somehow you have to tell the story. You're going to do it in a paper, an exhibit? Are you going to do it as a uh, presentation, uh, a website? Um, but that follows the story. So there's an example, I guess.